I hated Lubbock at first, but really once I started to get out and explore the city, seeing what it has to offer, it started to grow on me and fast. A lot of people have a preconceived notion about Lubbock that, you know, that, it, that it's so flat that you can see the back of your forehead, which that is true. But I feel like a lot of people dislike Lubbock and they haven't even been here in the past 30 to 40 years to really explore what this city has to offer now. There's a lot of pros and a lot of cons with Lubbock. And in this video, we're gonna dive into a few that I've experienced while living here. I'm Nate Toffner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate here in Lubbock, Texas, and let's get into it. Pro number one, it is incredibly cheap here, about 8% lower than the national average. Now the trade-off for that is we are pretty far from larger metroplexes like Dallas, San Antonio, and Austin, and about 10 hours of driving from Houston. And our airport really is not the cheapest to fly out of, but what is cheap is gas here in Lubbock. I mean, as of recording, Lubbock is under $3.80 a gallon, while everywhere else in the United States, that price is just climbing and climbing. Pro number two, Lubbock, the city is planned out pretty well. The buildings, we don't have to build up on each other and there's barely any traffic due to the way that it's planned. The city is laid out in a grid system. So north and south are names and east and west are letters and numbers. So it is incredibly easy to navigate. Now a con about this is, you know, the scenery sucks. If you're looking for mountains and forest, you're really only gonna get flat grass and farmland. And really the downtown buildings aren't too much to look at. There is a revitalization going on downtown that's gonna take a while to really beautify that area. But as of right now, it's not the best place to look at. Pro number three, it is often sunny here in Lubbock with little to no humidity and has an average temp around 74 degrees throughout the year. We're no California, but the weather is pretty nice here. Now, the trade-off for that is if it snows in Lubbock and if it snows pretty bad, it is going to shut down the city. Now, it really doesn't snow that bad, but just something to be aware of. Pro number four, the food. It's pretty good overall here in Lubbock, and there's great barbecue. Like, you know, shout out to Evie Mays. Their barbecue is delicious. Now there's a trade-off with this. Even though we have awesome food, Lubbock has a limited amount of options that you will probably explore within a year. And there's not a ton of ethnic food options. So if you're looking for something, you know, a little bit out there than what you're used to, you're gonna have a hard time. We really don't have the amount of options that, you know, larger metroplexes have, but the food is still really good. These were just a few pros and cons that I've experienced while living here in Lubbock. And truly, the pros really do outweigh the cons. And I would not trade Lubbock for anything. It's really grown on me and the people are amazing here. If you're choosing to you know, live in Lubbock or thinking about moving to Lubbock, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer questions or you know, if you want my take on you know, where the best barbecue place is, Evie Mays. <laughs> Other than that, I'm Nate Toffner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate here in Lubbock, Texas, and we'll catch you on the next one. Before you leave, I just wanna thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already, please like the video as well. It really helps us out through the algorithm and showing the video to people that would find it valuable as well. And if you haven't already, go over to the channel, click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know each and every time a new video is put up. Thank you so much and we'll catch you on the next one.